Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to add some style to this page we've created. So this is my basic structure page, and um, it's available to you online. Just check out the description for the link. But black text on a white background, plain blue hyperlinks, those are all getting a little old. So let's start to style. And I've mentioned in previous videos, we don't want to incorporate the style within our HTML, meaning we don't want to marry style and content together. We want style separate. So the way I'm going to do that is with an external style sheet file. So I've got my HTML file as one file. I'm going to create a brand new CSS file for cascading style sheets. And this is pretty easy to do. I've got a blank page at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as, and I'm going to create a subfolder here called styles within my web page files folder and within that styles folder I'm gonna make a new file I'm gonna call this structure.css now I'm using the same file name minus the extension that I use for my HTML file it doesn't have to be that way you don't have to use the same file name for your CSS that you do for your HTML file because in reality you're gonna use one CSS file to control multiple HTML files so on this CSS file, just so that we can get started, and I'll explain the uh, terminology here in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, body as a selector, and then I'll do font family to Homa. So I'm gonna make that one little change. So I now have this CSS file. I need to make sure that my HTML file knows about the CSS file and I'm gonna do that with a link tag here in the head section don't confuse link with hyperlink I am literally gonna use a link tag with a relationship attribute relation attribute relation equals style sheet and then href equals styles which is the name of my subfolder slash structure dot CSS which is the name of the particular style file that I want to refer to. So I've got a basic CSS file that's only controlling the font that's going to be used on the page. My HTML file knows about it now. It knows its path, its location. Everything is saved. If I head back over to my browser and refresh, just kind of watch the font as I refresh here. There we go the fonts have changed on the entire page to the Tahoma font. Later in another video I'll go over some web fonts and how you can be a little bit more creative with uh, some of your fonts. But for now I do just that one little change to ensure that I've got the link between my web page and my styles. Now that that's taken care of I can really spend a lot of time on the style sheet file controlling how I want things to look. So in addition to changing the font for the page. I can also change things like um, the background color of the page and I'll stick with, yeah, I'll do a color code here. That's a really dark blue. That's a code for a blue. Explain uh, color codes or hexadecimal codes in another video. So that's a basic background color. And while I'm here, let me go ahead and change the foreground color. That's a very light gray. So I do a control S to save back to the browser and refresh. So now we've got some more dramatic changes. Let's go back to the CSS file. Let's make sure we're clear on some of the terminology. My CSS file is going to be made up of multiple CSS rules. This is a CSS rule. And within that rule, there's going to be some declarations. My CSS rule has a three declarations, one for font family, one for background color, and one for foreground color. So I've got three declarations in this particular rule. Clearly you can use multiple declarations for a particular CSS rule. The CSS rule starts off with a selector and this basically tells the browser what I want to affect. I want to affect the body tag. Remember on my HTML file everything that's visible to the visitor is within the body section of the page denoted by the body tag. So my selector is the body. It's not a tag here, it's called a selector. Let's try another one now that you got that. If I want to control, let's say, how about the heading one? 
and my heading one, I want to do text align center. And let's see, I'll also do a border bottom, two picks, solid black. Okay, so I've got two declarations for my heading one selector. I'm going to center the text and I'm going to give it a black, thin, solid bottom border. Let's see what happens. There we go. My headline text is my heading one text is centered and you can just see that that thin black border down there. Might be a little bit easier if my background color is not so dark. How about um, CCF, light lavender. Let's change my font color out to a 003. There we go. So just a few little changes there and you've got a different look for your web page. Let's continue on with this in another video.